Good morning. Welcome to the front yard. Because all of Seattle's major parks are closed this weekend and our neighbor is mowing the lawn, we got a jackhammer going somewhere, but we're gonna cook breakfast. I'm Chef Corso from Monte Boca and welcome to all the crews out there. North Face, Mappy Hour, Monte Boca, wherever you are, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're hunkering down. Hope you're gonna have a great Easter weekend. But uh, we're gonna elevate another pantry staple into something hopefully amazing. And we're gonna be focusing on oatmeal today, a backpacker staple, uh, a, a quick um, weekday breakfast staple in order to make a couple great options. So come on in. So what we're gonna do today is make a couple different options of oatmeal. One of them we're gonna make tropical, and the other one we're gonna make kind of a, a mixed bag from the pantry to give you some really tasty options. And for our camp stove setup today, we've got a double barrel action, we've got two chimney style stoves, we've got one MSR wind burner, and we've got one Camp Chef, both very similar styles. These are a lot like jet boils uh, out there, but these are a really great option to, uh, to, to take on your backpacking trip. And that's another thing here, we're cooking in the front yard today, and as you're hunkering down, and as you're in quarantine, as you're staying at home, is go outside, go in the front yard, backyard, take your camp stove out there, if you have the Coleman variety, whatever camp stove you have, and uh, cook outside. It's a really great change of, change of scenery. If you have a, a, a patio, or a porch, or a balcony, just get outside and cook something. So, what we're gonna do here for our tropical oatmeal, is we've got some great dried options that we rated the bulk aisle. So we have some dried mango. We have some crystallized ginger. It's a nice little treat. We have some banana chips, some coconut shavings, and another uh, a great option in here would be some freeze-dried pineapple, dehydrated pineapple, to be able to throw it all, all in the pot here. But our secret ingredient for our tropical oatmeal is powdered coconut milk. This is a special ingredient. We have this on our packing page, also available at a lot of Asian grocery stores if you have those in your area. But this is a really great option to have in the pantry for your camping trip or for uh, any, any recipe. So let's get going here. So I've got some water already in here and I am gonna go ahead and put our fruits in here because I want them to hydrate and to partially flavor our oatmeal broth here as it cooks. Nice, there we go. And go ahead and get our burner going. and just a couple tablespoons of coconut milk powder. Oops, there we are. And other little tip here is add just a little bit of pinch of salt. Not too much, but that'll help with the overall flavor of this, this breakfast. Give that a nice stir, and we're gonna bring that up to a boil and then throw in our oatmeal. So other great options for elevating your oatmeal is overnight oats. So this is a great option. I, I soaked these the night uh, last night, but this is a great option for those days where you know you're gonna have just a ton of miles, you need to crush it, you don't have time, you need to pack up the tent and get moving, but go ahead and soak your, your, your oats or other great grain options are chia, hemp seeds, hemp hearts. Those are really great protein and really satisfying and really great to fill your belly. But this is a super great option just to get up and get moving. Or if you do want to conserve some gas for a breakfast, this is a great option. So you just soak them overnight and you don't have to cook them? So just soak them overnight. Really easy. And 
other ways to jazz up boring old oatmeal is I made up a batch here previously. And the other thing about oatmeal is everyone has their own specific consistency that they like. Some people like it wet, some people like it dry. Totally up to you. We've got a couple, couple options here that we're gonna show you. All right, we're adding our oatmeal to our tropical blend here. Mm, you can smell that coconut, it smells really nice. And I don't know about you, but I cannot eat these packages anymore. This is a pumpkin spice for some reason. We want pumpkin spice in our oatmeal, but the apple cinnamon, the maple, like I just can't do it anymore. So that's why I try to make some, some other tasty options out there because oatmeal is a really great backpacker ingredient and a really great breakfast to start your day. So other interesting options that might be in your pantry right now that you could add to your oatmeal. So we could add some dried apricots. That's a really great option. You could also use some nut milk powder if you have that around. You could add some different seeds, some pepitas, some almonds. It's nice and pretty. The other thing that I like to do for my trips is add some jam. So instead of adding brown sugar or maple syrup to the oatmeal, I'll add a little bit of jam to sweeten it up. This is a strawberry. We also have a black bear here, but also what I'll do, um, especially if you're going on a longer trip, you're, you know, you're going to have a, your diner breakfast before you, before you head out on the trail is to weasel those little jam packets. You know, don't take all of them. Don't say chef Corso told you to take them all, but you could take a couple, put them in your pack and add them to your oatmeal. And other things you could do is these nut butter packets are amazing to give you some other different flavors some more protein and you can even take one of these fruit and nut bars and crumble that on top instead of just adding a handful of trail mix but that looks really nice really colorful as well all right let's go ahead and check our tropical oatmeal here so if you have instant oatmeal you have quick cut quick cook oats just depends on uh which kind of oatmeal that you have for this for the overall amount of time this is looking pretty close to being done. What I would suggest is to not take uh, full steel cut oats on a, uh, can uh, excuse me, on a backpacking trip, mainly because it's going to take a long time. But if you are car camping, that could be an option because you have a little bit more uh, availability of time. Alright guys, as the plane is flying overhead and the lawnmower is going up in the background, we're going to give you a little moment of zen with the cherry trees. Look at those tulips. All right, back to our oatmeal. And to finish off our tropical option here, I do have some cashews. Macadamia nuts are a, a nice option as well. They give you a nice little bit of uh, luxury on the trail and also some really nice fat. So we've got oatmeal three ways here. And the other thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a tasting because oatmeal is oatmeal. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but raid your pantry, raid your drawer for whatever you have, but these are some really great ways to jazz up boring old oatmeal or to not have the apple cinnamon option. But we're gonna do a tasting today and we're gonna be doing a tasting of fruit. So I found some interesting fruits at the grocery store today and we're gonna try them 
we're gonna tell you about them. But we've got some kiwi berries. We've got some red bananas. We've never seen those before. And we have a sumo tangerine. So a quick note about bananas. So this is a banana. You guys know about bananas. The interesting thing about bananas is we only get one variety of banana in the grocery store. Thinking about it, you go to the produce section and there are 10 varieties of apples, three varieties of potatoes, two varieties, three varieties, different colors of onions. We get one banana. Why? There are thousands of varieties of banana, but we only get one. Well, there's a really great book out there that explains why it's actually called banana. Uh, it's the history of how this became a staple for pretty much the world. When you think about it, this is a tropical fruit and we can buy it for like a nickel. So uh, this is a cabin dish, the one variety of banana that we have. Cambodian cowboy got it right. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're at the grocery store, check out the other kinds of bananas. There's these little mini bananas that overall are my favorite, better, better flavor than the cabin dish. Um, but also try these red bananas. Something also to note is m some of them are plantains, so make sure you check the, the label in the grocery store because eating just a, a regular plantain, it's not gonna be great. You do need to cook that one. But the red bananas, purple bananas, mini bananas, give those a try. And frankly, these are a better snack and a better size than these Big Daddy Cavendish. And oddly enough, they taste more like bananas than a Cavendish banana. The, the, the smaller guys taste more banana-y than a banana. Just wrap your head around that one this morning. All right, so let's try our red banana. So overall, pretty thin peel. Looks like a banana. Looks like a banana. Tastes like a banana. It's interesting, it has a little bit more creaminess than the cabin dish and has an interesting little twang to it that just takes tastes a little um little more earthy but really that's it's pretty tasty give that a try before moving on to the next taste uh we have a question from the crowd yeah. about currently raiding the pantry to add some spice to the oatmeal cardamom chia seeds ginger any of that too crazy that is not too crazy. That sounds amazing. Some cardamom in here would be really nice. Some star anise too. You could throw that in your broth. Um, five spice could be interesting as well with the coconut milk. Um, so yeah, not too crazy at all. Really, really good, really good idea. All right, let's try the kiwi berry. So I've never had these before, but they look super cute. Looks like a kiwi. <laughs> and holy crap, it's a kiwi. Um, <laughs> it's really weird. It tastes exactly like a kiwi, but just in a small, cute little form. You can eat, it, eat all of it. Don't have the fur on the outside. Wow. Give these a try. These are super cool. And it could be a really great option for our tropical oatmeal. That's, that's nice. All right, so the last thing we're gonna try today is a sumo tangerine. You guys may have seen these at Whole Foods or other grocery stores. It's kind of a uh, trendy, trendy citrus out there. And wow, this is really easy peeling. I always like that, especially when you're in the back country. You don't have to get your knife out or really worry about anything. Make sure to pack out the peels, everyone. And overall, segments break apart pretty easily. Nice, that's helpful. Doesn't look like a whole lot of seeds, so that's good. Mm. I've had this one before. This is a really great eating, eating orange, eating tangerine. Mm. Really not too sweet but sweet enough. Um, also, kind of a little bit on the drier side, which is kind of helpful sometimes. Mm, sumo tangerine. 
really good. You can throw that in your oatmeal too. Mm, awesome. So here are some really great options. You can elevate your oatmeal. You could also bring along some fresh fruit, have a fresh fruit tasting, uh, surprise your, your, your buddies and your friends when you're on the trail. But so you can easily add some really nice different color to your really boring drab oatmeal. But if you're looking for more elevated recipes, check out montiboca.com, other packing tips. If you're looking for more Chef Corso try segments, check out YouTube, Chef Corso. I taste chips, I taste random things and tell you about it. But thanks for coming along this morning. Hope you have a great weekend. Check out mappyhour.org for other great resources for camping. And we've got the plane going around because we are in the front yard and that's all right. Uh, but ever, other resources for camping, for how to read a map. They've got great resources for you out there. Thanks for the uh, North Face for help putting this on. But uh, check us out. Hope you have a great weekend. And join us on uh, Wednesday for our next session. We are hitting the trail gate again. And we're going to have a great dippable, shareable snack. And I'm going to show you how to make a backpacker sangria that will wow your friends at the campsite. So thanks for coming along. Boca Boca.